Now I've heard it said that swinging old school winged wet flies is a lost art, but I've also met fishermen who still swear that they catch 90% of their fish this way. So what this tells me is that while dry fly fishing can be a blast and filling a savage take when you're stripping a streamer can really get your adrenaline flowing, these old school winged wet flies still have a place in today's fishing. And that's what I'm going to tie for you today. I got this pattern from Taft Price's 1986 Fly Tying an International Guide. The pattern is called the Grouse and Green, the original Grouse and Green. If you search for this pattern today, you'll see a lot of spider looking soft hackles with no wing, but you'll also see a few versions like this one. And one other note, a lot of the ones you'll see today won't have seals fur for the body because it's just not that easy to find and it's kind of hard to work with. So if you don't have any, don't worry about it. Just use something green, a, a caddis green, kind of like my tie here. Doesn't even have to be fuzzy. I think this fly would look great with a smooth floss body. So normally I say, there it is in the vise, but I can't this time because this is the first one I've tied. But there in the vise is a size 10, one extra long barbless wet fly hook. I'm gonna catch in some black thread. This is 70 denier. I'll take it back here to the start of the bend. And for the tail, gonna be some golden pheasant tippets. This feather might be a little bit long, so no way I'm gonna see both of those black bars, but that's fine. We'll catch it in about right there. And what I do with these feathers, I grab them by the tips and then just reach in here, let's see, and snip off, oh, a dozen, maybe 10, and pull the main part of the feather out. Now that should keep your tips aligned. Okay, they are, we're gonna catch in about right there. I think that's gonna be long enough. Little pinch wrap right there, couple wraps, check how long you got it, is that gonna be enough? Yep, I think that is just fine. So go ahead and bring your thread back up front. I'm gonna catch in a rib, just a mylar tinsel. And I'm gonna want the gold showing, so I'll catch it in with the gold side toward the hook here. That way when we flip and wrap it, we'll be looking at the gold. So just some loose wraps right here going back. Now let's put a good bit of wax on our thread because we're gonna go with the original and do some really fuzzy dyed uh, seal fur for the dubbing. And this is dyed seals fur. It's actually seals fur that I got from somebody off Etsy. And it is really hard to dub. So there's no way this thing is gonna be a clean looking body. We're gonna to have to trim it, I'm sure. Now, if you don't have seals fur, anything bright green I think is gonna work in this caddis green color. Be a rabbit, it could be a wool. Really, I think uh, the color of it is, is why it's called the, the grouse and green. So go ahead and put that on there. That's about a three inch noodle right there and it's gonna take us a good bit more than that. So it might take us three applications to get this all the way up front. So I'll speed this part up and uh, just wrap it up and put some more on here and then do it again. And what you can do after a couple of wraps or laying dubbing, you can try to tighten it back up just a little bit more. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't make much of a difference. But either way, we're still gonna be trimming this thing before we're done. So there we go, big buggy mess. And I really, for the life of me, can't figure out why so many old timey flies use seals fur. Because it, it's just hard to dub and doesn't really look good unless you spend some time trimming it. So I'm gonna give it a little haircut here and uh, shape it a little bit. Okay, that's good enough for now. We might trim it a little bit later, even more. Now let's just wrap this rib up. I'm gonna counter wrap it, not too close together, but you know, fairly close. Now I'm gonna try and spend a few wraps cleaning up this head before I even go into the, the throat and the wing. Just might make it a little bit easier on the, one of the final steps here. And the throat, just gonna be some brown hackle fibers. This is actually from a barred ginger. 
And this is not a huge tuft, maybe that's a, a dozen or so fibers. We're gonna just catch it in right up here behind the eye and hopefully we can have it swept back like a, a typical throat. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. Let's snip the excess up front. Now for the wing, just calls for slips of a grouse flight feather. And I think any upland bird will work. This is actually a hen pheasant. So I would definitely use a hen. And if you've got a mottled brown, I think that's gonna look best. So I've got two slips here. This is from a, a right and a left feather. So I tried to, you know, get them with the, the darker sides out and about the, the same length. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna catch them in both at the same time, kind of lay them here the length that I want, and I'll pinch the feathers and the hook at the same time, pull some extra thread out, do a loose wrap over the top, kind of a pinch wrap here, and then pull it tight coming up on my side over here. And I've got them canned a little bit, so I'm gonna try that again. Doesn't always work first try. Okay, there's my length. Okay, not perfect, but I think they're coming off and, and they're gonna give us the profile we want right there. So a few extra wraps up front to just lock these in and then we'll snip this excess here. Now, let's just build our head. And you can make a big wet fly head here. Just ramp it up, go back to the eye, and then ramp it up. Okay, I think that's big enough ahead. Let's go ahead and put a whip finish right here in front of the wing at the back of the head. Now take a look, see if we have any cleanup. Yeah, I sure do. I got that green seals fur going all over the place here. So I might just spend a little bit of time trimming this up right here. Then a drop of head cement, and we'll call this thing done. So that's it, my friends. A pretty old school classic winged wet fly. Now I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.